adding integers, using real-world examples to find the rules to adding integers. Our first example talks about a video game where you lose 20 points and then you earn 30 points. The first thing we want to think about is we have to recover from that negative 20. So we have to make up for the 20 that we lost and then look at the difference. We have 30 points, so therefore we are up 10 points. When our signs are different, we subtract the numbers and go with the larger sign. 12 positive people and 5 negative people will also involve elimination. Every positive person will match up with a negative person, and it will be like they neutral each other out. So I'm going to go ahead and match up all 5 negative people with 5 positive people. Once each of those are eliminated, I can count how many I have left. In this case, I end up with seven positive people. The signs were different, so therefore we subtracted. 12 minus five gave us seven, and there were more positive, so therefore our final answer will be positive seven. Here we're gonna start by moving back 16 spaces. So our first number shows where we move from zero to negative 16. Then it says move back seven spaces. Since we've already moved back once, the negative seven is gonna be in addition to the negative 16. So we're gonna move back a total of 23 places. Because again, when the signs are the same, we actually are going to add the numbers. In this case, we're gonna add 16 and seven, but we keep the negative sign. So we moved back a total of 23 places. Here we have 22 red counters and 13 yellow counters, which looks like this. Positive 13, negative 22. We are going to match up every red with one yellow. One positive and one negative together will give you zero. Think about if I said plus one, minus one, we're at zero. Plus one, minus one, we're at zero. We're gonna continue doing that until we've eliminated every pair. Since there were 13 yellows, we're gonna eliminate all 13 yellow and 13 of the red. That will leave us with nine red. The signs here are different, negative 22, positive 13. So we subtract 22 and 13, or find the distance, and it is nine. And the larger number was red, so therefore it became negative nine. Here we have counters on a number line. We start with 19 positive, so we go ahead and place 19 yellow counters on the number line. Then we need four more positive, so we're gonna place four more yellow counters on the number line. Again, the signs here are the same. 19 and four, both are positive, so we add them together and we get a total of 23 yellow, which means plus 23. Another way to think about integers is money. Sometimes you owe money, sometimes you have money. You have $7 and eight more dollars, you have $15. What about a thermometer? If the temperature outside is negative seven degrees, it has to go up all seven to get to zero. So if it's negative seven and you go up eight degrees, you are now at one degree, positive one. The signs are different, so we subtract. Now we have another number line where we're gonna start at zero and we're gonna go back to negative seven. And then we need to go back another negative eight. Here again, the signs are the same, so we have to add the numbers together. So in this case, we have gone back 15 spaces. Next, we have colored counters, where we have seven positive and eight negative. We match up all of the zero pairs, eliminating or subtracting, leaving us with only one negative, one red. Last but not least, you can use the rule. The rule says when the signs are different, so here 19 is positive and 23 is negative, 
You will subtract the numbers or find the distance between them. That's 19 to 23. That gives us a distance of four. And to know whether it's positive or negative, you look at your numbers and think about the absolute value. 23 would be larger than 19, and that is negative, so that means we have more negative in this answer. So the answer is negative four. Here are a lot of different real world examples you can use to help you find integers. Return to your notebook.